I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, singing praises unto Yahweh Shai. This is a form of praise right now. This is a praise. Okay. For thy mercy is great above the heavens. Okay. And truth reacheth unto the clouds. Okay. Be thou exalted. Okay. Oh, power above the heaven. So, Yahushua is going to be exalted. Okay. He is going to be exalted. There's no if, but, and maybes about it. Yahushua will be exalted. Okay. So again, who does all the glory belong to? Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's who all the glory belongs to. We're not in this for ourselves. We, what we're doing is because we want mercy. I want mercy. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm doing this because I want mercy. We're doing this because we want mercy. A wise man, that's why it's going to be pushing this truth. There's going to be no utopia motive behind it. Okay. This is what we seek. And how do we gain the mercy of Yahweh Shai? By being brotherly and by doing the work. This is how we gain that mercy through Yahweh Shai. Okay. And mercy is going to be bestowed to his elect. Okay, let me see if I can find Lord winning if I can find that. Mercy is going to be bestowed to what? His men. Okay. Ah, bear me just friend. Let's go to Romans. Mercy will be bestowed to the elect. Well, mercy has been bestowed to the elect already. Okay. Let's go to Romans. Romans 8 and let's start at 28 and we know that all things everything okay all things every single thing work together for good to them that love the most high so everything we go through what well, it works together for good okay it works together good for them okay but love the most high to them who are called according to his purpose okay and the elect they're called according to his purpose not their own purpose it's not just a thing where we wake up yeah I just decided to do this no they were called the elect were called according to Yahweh Shah's purpose okay For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. Okay. The elect were foreknown. They were already thought about even before the womb. Even before they were in the womb. That's how heavy this is. Okay. And whom he called, them he also justified. Okay, the elect, they're justified in the sight of Yahweh Shai. Maybe not in the sight of certain men, because a man may say, ah, I don't like his attitude, I don't like his mind. That's not up to you. If the Lord Yahweh Shai has found favour within these men, then guess what? Then there's nothing you can do about it. Okay? You can't stop that. If the Lord Yahweh Shai finds favour in his men, Okay, you can't say, well, no, I don't really like him. Well, you, as much as you may not like someone, if Yahweh Shah has found favour in that man, there's nothing you can do to stop him from becoming the elect. Okay, nothing you can stop. Okay, whether it's a false allegation, no matter what it may be. Okay. To 
To be conformed to the image of his son. Conform means to be draped. To be elect, get draped unto the image of Yahweh Shai. Okay? They're connected with Yahweh Shai. Okay? They're joined to live. Okay? To be conformed to the image of his son, which is Yahweh Shai, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Speaking of who? Okay, who's the firstborn among many brethren? Going back to Adam, Yahweh Shai, he's the firstborn among every brethren. Uh, the firstborn, not the last one, the firstborn. And he's the first begotten of the dead. Okay? It's Yahweh Shai that we're speaking of right here. Okay? Among many brethren, who, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he, he called also. Them he also called. So them he did predestinate, chose pre means before time. Destined, from destiny. The elect were predestined to make it, to overcome. Okay. So them he also did predestinate, them he also called. And them he called. Then he also justified. So you've got particular men up on this earth. No matter what they do, they'll be justified. But don't get it twisted. We're not saying we're not saying go, go out and do some wickedness now because that won't count. If you just go and do some wickedness, that doesn't count. Okay? That don't count. That's why it says of whom he did predestinate. They were predestinated. But guess what? They still have particular works. Okay? And the elect, their works are going to show. And that's why the scripture says, faith without works is dead. Because a man can say he has faith, but it makes it work. Where are you out there? You know? And whom he justified, them he also glorified. So, the elect are glorified in Yahweh Shai. And they're justified. Can you believe that? The elect are justified through Yahweh Shai. Okay? Completely justified through Yahweh Shai and his blood. Okay. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. What shall we say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? So, if Yahweh Shai is on our side, who can be against us? We're talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. So he's for us, so no matter what comes in our way, we know that Yahweh Shai, he's got us. Okay? And that, that in itself, that should give you great comfort. That should give you strength. Okay? He that spared not his own son, have delivered him up for us all, referring to the children of Israel, not all nations. Okay. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So guess what? We're going to be freely given all things, which is what? This wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Okay. That's what we're going to be given. We're going to be given it freely. Okay. Without fail. Okay. Freely give us all things. Okay. More wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding. These are the things we pray for. Okay, not so much the carnal possessions. Okay, what the people have of this world. Okay. Baby, just a minute. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So, again, he's going to give us all, everything we need he's going to give us. He's going to sustain us. Okay. Okay, everything. Okay. Verse 33. Who shall lay in the king? The charge of the Lord's highs. Elect. Again, so who can lay anything to the charge? Oh, but, but, if heaven is your prayer to the Heavenly Father, please destroy this man. 
destroy him without a cause. That's laying charge with the Most High's elect. Okay. It is the Most High that justifies. So the Most High is going to justify his elect. He's going to justify his men. Okay. It is the Most High that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? So who is he that condemned? Nah, you're done. Which men of the Lord can condemn you? Okay, but who is it actually that, that seals the man who actually condemns a man? Is Yahweh Shai? So, can we condemn people? Yes, but how are we condemning people? Through these words. It's the word that condemns people, it's not so much us. Okay, it is Mashiach that died, yeah, rather that is risen again. Okay, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also make him intercession for us. Okay, so it's Yahweh Shai. That does these things. Okay? Not so much us. Okay? Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahabashai? Mashiach. Shall tribulation. So is a little tribulation gonna stop us from teaching this word? The answer is no. Okay? Or distress. So it's a little bit of distress going to stop us from teaching this word. The answer is no. Or persecution. A little bit of persecution. The answer is no. Or famine. Or nakedness. Or peril. Or sword. The answer is no. Because these are all part of what? Our trials and our faith. Okay. Which we have to go through. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. And part of being killed, it doesn't always mean physically. It means what? Suffering reproach. Okay? Suffering reproach, suffering being scorned, scoffed at. That's us being killed daily. People are having a bad mind towards this truth. This is us being what? Killed daily. In the flesh. But guess what? The, new, the, the inward man is being renewed. That's what you got to understand, you got to see the, the, the benefits of his truth. So when these things happen, our inner man, our character is being built. Because you're going to have certain men that come into this truth, their character is not going to be built. Why? Because the Lord, is, he's not working on the two thirds. That's another lesson. The Lord on this side, he's not working on the two thirds. He's working on the nation of Israel, the hopeful elect. Okay? That's who he's working on, on this side. Okay? We are counted as sheep as to the slaughter. And sheep are very, very um, silent. They don't make a lot of noise, especially when they go into the, the slaughter. Lambs don't make much noise. Okay, the goats do though. Okay. Okay, Then me just a minute. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. This is one of, one of my favorite scriptures. The scripture says, we are more than conquerors. More? So, no, we're not just conquerors, we're more than conquerors. Okay? That's heavy. Okay? And to, to conquer, that means you've overcame. Okay? We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Through who? Through Yahabashai. Okay, so the elect have what? Conquered this world through Yahweh's side. Okay. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, spirits, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depth, nor, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. So in other words, nothing is going to separate the elect for their love for Yahweh Shai. Nothing's going to separate that. No matter what you do, no matter what you try, nothing's going to separate that. 
It's the elector gonna what the elector given to Yahweh Shai from the beginning. So nothing's gonna separate that. Okay, that's what you gotta understand. Now here it is you come over being being a demon, trying to trying to um trying to throw the men of the Lord off. No, you're just building up the men. Satan is used to build up the men of the Lord. That's what Satan's used for. Okay, to build up the hopeful elect across the globe. Okay. Verse 37. It's like a verse 30. Yeah, but finish for that one, damn it. Nothing's going to separate the elect. You know? And I hope this is boosting brother's faith. Nothing. No matter what situation you're in, even. Even when you slip, your house is going to make a way where you're victorious in the end. Okay, that's what you've got to realize. Your house is going to make a way where you are victorious. Okay, where you conquer. Where, where you overcome. Okay. That's what you've got to realize. Okay. The elective have already overcame, they've already overcome this world. That's what you've got to realize. Okay. And this should bring you joy, this should bring you excitement. This is what we live for. We have nothing else. Forget about the world. This world's done. This world's finished. This world's through. Why do you care about the why do you care about this world for? This world's finished. Can't you see? Okay. We have a world to come. Okay. We dwell with everlasting righteousness. Okay, don't worry about this place. This place is through. The economy's all messed up. Okay. All that rubbish. Right? This place is through. This kingdom's through. Okay? And we're not out here. We're not out here to gain attention. Because this ain't about the attention of the masses. Because the majority of people, guess what? They're not going to take heed anyway. Okay? So we're not out here to get your attention. Okay? We're out here to teach the word. And the scripture says, be careful because some of you have what? Entertained angels unaware. And the scripture says, every for every idle word, every idle word that shall give an account. So what's an idle word? You know? A faultless word. So every idle word that comes out of your mouth, you're gonna have to give an account in that day. You know? That's you got you better think before you speak, before you utter something. Because this right here is the tabernacle of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. This right here is the dwelling place of Yahweh Shai. It's the court, which is that temple. A temple is a court. So right now, this is the court. And what do you do in a court? In a court, what? You judge people in that court. Okay, so yes, we can judge. And we're being judged. The scripture, say, the scripture says, a spiritual man judgeth all things. So yeah, we can judge. Okay, according to the scriptures. Come into that Corinthians, because this whole thing about Oh, you can't judge, you know? You're too judgment. Yeah, we can judge. What do you think we're gonna be doing in the kingdom? Judging. Why do you think we're going through what we're going through now? So we can judge. We're being judged as well. You know? There's there's traffic right here. Okay. And if anybody goes past these red lights, guess what? They're going to get a what? A bill saying, look, you went past this red light. Now you're going to get, you're going to have to pay this amount. That's a judgment. So what? We, there's this judge, every single day, you're making a judgment. Oh, I don't want to eat this food. That's not good for me. That's a judgment. So to say, oh, you can't judge, you're going off. Because you can, according to the scriptures. But make sure you're not doing that same thing. All the scriptures deal with... Every, every single scripture deals with a, one particular judgment. The laws deal with judgments. That's why you have laws. So the laws are put in place for what? The laws, it, the laws are our judgment. Okay? can't judge. That's like Christianity, that soft spirit. But here, here it is, you will make judgments. And the, and the Christians are the most, some of the most judgmental people on earth. <laughs> but they can't judge. 
كامل جوست ا مينيت سي اف ا كونفاين سبيرتو مان جاجيف اون ثينجز بس اف اف يو كارنو ذيم ذا جادجمنت از غونا بي اوف اوكي سبيرتو مان از غونا بي ايبل تو جادج نوت ا كارنو مان Because a carnal man is judging by what? His flesh. See if I can find it. Baba Kisha. Okay. Bear with me just a minute. I know it's somewhere in Corinthians, but I just can't find it yet. I know it's somewhere. That's our duty as men and Lord to judge. Bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. moment in time you know? like I can't find it right now but the scripture says the natural man um, a spiritual man judges all things yet he is judge he is no judge yet he is judge of no man so why did the scripture say yet he is judge of no man Because the, the people in the world, what are their judgments based on? Their judgments are not based on the scriptures. Okay? So a spiritual man, he can judge because his judgments are based on the scriptures. Okay? And it's from a place of what? True judgment. spiritual man he can judge you know it's like I couldn't find that scripture I know it's something in Corinthians he has the right to judge because that's his job but he's doing it but he's doing it in balance okay he's judging in balance okay He ain't judging you as a, as, a, as a tyrant, he's doing it in balance, okay? In full balance he's doing it, right? Because there's a balance in judgment also. When we judge, we're measuring ourselves with that judgment, okay? We're not just being judgmental at the people in the world. I don't like the way he stood, I don't like the way he talked now. That's not really a, a fair judgment, is it? I don't like the way he stands, that's not really a judgment, is it? You know what I mean? True judgment. Okay. Not the judgment of this world. Okay. Because that's what your Habesha, when your Habesha comes back, what do you think he's coming to do? No, you can't, that's, see, that's Benjamin. No, you can't judge nobody. That's, that's Benjamin's spirit, you know? No, man, you can't judge nobody. That's a, see, that's, that's a wicked spirit, you know? But Benjamin will be the first to judge. You see what I'm saying? You know? But what's Yahushua coming to do? He's coming to what? Judge. Yahushua's coming back to judge these nations. Okay? That's what you got to understand. Okay. So let's go to uh maybe just a minute. There's Nahum, there's there's a lot of scripture. Yahweh has come in to judge this world. But you're saying you can't judge. Come on man. Of course you can. 
you know? You make judgments every day, you know? Every, every single day, someone's making a judgment, whether it's something you like or you don't like, okay? Okay, let's go to Nahum 1. This is a judgment right here from Yahweh Shai. Huh? But there's only one God, there's only one power, and it's the power of the Israelites. Nah, Yahweh Shai. Allah, Allah is a moon God. Allah is a moon god. To hell with you, man. Allah. Oh, well, you're, pl you're praying five times a day. Where's, where, where's Allah helping you out? You know, them Kushites. There's only one power. Okay? And his name is Yahweh Shai. And the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. Okay? You understand? So let's go to Nahum 1. Okay. The book of the vision of the Nahum, the Alkashite. Okay, Nahum is the man of the Lord, a prophet. Living in that region, that's why it's called the Alkashite. Okay. Prophets were also named up what their, their regions as well. The Alkashite. Okay. And it's a, a burden. Because this word, what? It would be a burden. It would be weighing on the mind of the prophets a lot of the times. Okay, let me just check. Little bit of time, yep. They'd be wearing up on their minds. Okay. You have a shy. More than most high is jealous. So our power is a very, very, very jealous power. That's why he says, What's the one in the main commandments? Thou shalt not put no other God before me. So the most high is jealous. Okay. Very, very jealous. Okay. He doesn't want you putting anything before him. Because what does that lead to? Idolatry? Okay, that's why the Lord jacked us up, because you were committing idolatry. What's idolatry? Anything that's outside of the scriptures, anything you put before Yahweh Shai, that is idolatry. So Yahweh Shai wants us to focus on him. And, 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 and him only, nothing else. Okay? Just him only. Okay? The Lord Yahushua is in revenge, so Yahushua is coming to revenge. He's elect. Okay, so that sounds like a judgment to me. He revenges. So who is he going to revenge? He's elect. Okay. And he's going to revenge these nations for what they've done to him. You can't forget what the nations done to Yahushua. Remember what they done. You know? The Lord shall try to avenge him. Okay. And is furious. Okay. So he's angry. When you're furious, you're angry. You're not happy. The Lord shall try will take vengeance on his adversaries. So vengeance is revenge, recompense. Okay. And get back. So you have to go and get his get back. Okay. And he will take vengeance on these adversaries, enemies. Because Yahweh Shai, he has enemies, and his enemies are our enemies. So those that are against Yahweh Shai, they're our enemies. Okay, rightfully so. Okay, and they should be. Okay. They are our enemies. Because they're, they're enemies of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Go to Nahum 1 and 2, and he reserveth wrath for his enemy. So that wrath is being reserved, laid up for the enemies of the Lord. It's actually being laid up. Okay, little do they know. Okay, that wrath is being laid up. Okay, and when it's time, Yahweh is going to let loose. 
Okay. But right now, we just have to be patient and suffer the wrath that has come upon us through Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse 3, the Lord Yahweh Shai is slow to anger. So this is going into the attributes of Yahweh Shai. It says slow to anger. And that's how we're supposed to be in this truth. You're always, you know, you're going to get times where you're angry, but easily, you're just easily agitated, can't control your temper. That's a sign of a man that has not a mastery over his spirit, which we, we strive for mastery. You're just angry at every little thing. That's a man that's not a sign of what lack of growth and self-control. Okay, so slow to anger. So Yahushua is very, very slow to anger. It doesn't mean he doesn't get angry, it says he's slow. He takes his time. Okay, that's the man you've got to watch out for. Okay? Someone that takes his time to anger. You know? You anger straight away, then people can just push your buttons if you just get angry all the time. Because that shows you don't have patience. Okay? A man that can hold his temper, that's the one you've got to look out for. Okay? And great in power. So Yahweh is very, very, very great in power, as you should know. Okay? And we're not at all acquit the wicked. So the wicked are not going to be acquitted. Just like in this system, this ESO system, the wicked get acquitted. You just have a good lawyer, you get off trial. Well, it's not going to be like that in this kingdom. The wicked are not going to be acquitted. Okay? The wicked are going to have to face judgment. They're not going to be let off. Okay? That's what you got to understand. Because Yahavashai, what he's going to judge. Yahavashai is the ultimate judge. Okay? And that's what he's coming to do. Judge this world. In righteousness. Because in this world, like I said, just have a good lawyer and you can get off a charge. Okay? But no, in the kingdom, you're going to be judged accordingly. So if you committed adultery in the kingdom, you're going to be judged accordingly. If you committed robbery, you're going to be uh, judged accordingly. If you are a sodomite, you're going to be judged accordingly. According to the scriptures. Okay? Not by our own accord. Okay? It's all about the scriptures. We judge by the scriptures. Okay? Not by our own accord. Okay? The Lord Jehovah was trying to take it. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? And the Lord Jehovah shall have his way in the whirlwind, which is what? The clouds, which is what? The chariots, because the chariots are referred to as clouds. Okay. So that is what he has his what? Weighing. Okay. And the whirlwind, it comes all of a sudden. Okay. And the whirlwind, what does the whirlwind bring? Confusion. Okay. He has his way in the whirlwind. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Getting cold out here today. Okay, so he has his way in the whirlwind. Okay. Fully. Okay. In them chariots. Okay. And in the storm and the clouds and the dust of his feet. So Yahweh Shah, what's he doing? Picking up dust. Okay. The clouds are the dust of his feet. Okay, so chariots come in what? The form of what? Clouds. Okay? A whirlwind, which represents confusion. Because when a whirlwind hit, what does it bring? Confusion. That's how Yahweh Shai's gonna come. And a lot of people are gonna be confused when they see Yahweh Shai. Okay? Very. Okay. So that's it on that. Let's go to There's a lot of stuff here man. Daniel's two and start at 44. Okay, this is Daniel's two and 44. And in the days of his kings, shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And whose kingdom is that? 
You're always asking me. And it's never going to be destroyed. Okay? You're always asking me. It's going to be forever. It's going to be what? Eternal. Okay? Without end. Okay? And it's, you notice how it said that shall never be destroyed. Now this, this, this is going to be forever. It's going to be no end to it. Okay? Okay? Let me check the time. Yeah, still got a bit of time left. Okay? This is, this, this is what we labour for. This is what we labour for, man. A kingdom in heaven. No, a new kingdom. We're fed up of this place. Fed up, fed up of the people. Fed up of the GMO. Fed up of the pollution. I've got to be out here breathing in all this pollution of all these different cars coming past. Okay. You know. Fed up of these. Uh, fed up of these women. These, these some of these. You know what I'm saying? Even though hot, there's going to be harlots that make it into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, but you get fed up of the things you see around you. Okay. But what we balance that out through the scriptures. Okay, everything we balance out. Okay, everything. Okay, rightfully so. Because if you're not balanced, guess what? If you come into the truth and you're not balanced, you would, you would lose your mind. Completely, utterly lose your mind. So, what keeps us at balance? This truth. Because without balance, oh man, we, we would just lose, lose our marbles. So we see how we share that keeps us balanced. Especially the things we go through. Because... The people of this world, they could not go through what we go through. They would lose their minds. The things we've seen since we've been in it, they would lose it. Okay? So, that's how you know it's your Habesha that keeps us sane. Okay? Because the things we've seen, the things we went through, you would have a nervous breakdown. You understand what I'm saying? So let's continue. We shall never be destroyed, and kingdoms shall not be left to other people. Okay, but it shall break in peace and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Okay, so this kingdom, this ah, uh, Yahweh's just it's going to stand forever. It's going to be a thing of everlasting joy. Okay, it's going to be a thing of everlasting joy. Okay, this kingdom ain't going to be destroyed. Okay, and this is what we're, this is what we're looking forward to. Okay, a kingdom that dwelleth righteousness. Okay. Eternal righteousness, forever. Okay? This is what we're waiting for. Where we can all be happy, you don't got to worry about your brother scheming on you, your woman committing adultery. You don't, don't want to have to worry about none of that. When you have it as your woman steps out the door, you're worrying. Come on, man. All these different things. Okay? You know what I mean? So we're not going to have to worry about none of that in the kingdom. Why? Because everything's going to be righteous. Everything. Okay. Every fault, even every fault you have is going to be righteous. Can you imagine that? <laughs> you know, if you can't, well, well, imagine it. See, when we're reading the scriptures, you really got to put everything you're reading, you really got to put yourself there. You got to put yourself in that situation. You understand what I'm saying? Verse 45, for as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain, okay, without hands, that it break in pieces, the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, and the great power have made known the king, what shall come, pass thereafter, and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof, okay. So when it's talking about the gold, the silver, the brass, and the, these were all the ancient kingdoms, that were done away with. I remember where it talks about that stone. And that stone is Yahweh Shai. Okay? Drowning all these other nations to powder. Which he's going to do when he comes on the scene as well. Okay? Excuse me. You know? For as much as they saw as the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands. 
but it break in pieces. Okay, so this is referring to who? Yabashai. Okay. And then it broke in pieces. It's like a, the iron, the clay, and the silver and gold and the great power have made known the king what shall come to pass hereafter and the dream is certain. That was going on to the dream that never um that was expired through King Daniel. Okay. I guess who's gonna rule? Yahushai. Okay. An everlasting kingdom. Everlasting. Okay. Without fail. And this is what we've got to look forward to. Because when you read Psalms, you may think Psalms, is Psalms just a prayer? Psalms is good with prayer, but Psalms deals with everything. You do know a large majority of Psalms deals with prophecy. Read the Psalms. The Psalms deal with prophecy. The Psalms deal with the events that are about to happen. Okay? The Psalms deal with all these different things. Okay? Prophecy. Okay? Prayer. Yahweh Shai, he's coming, what he went through. Prophecy is still with that. Okay? For real. This is Psalm, this is um, Psalms 90. Lord, that has been a dwelling place in all generations. So, okay, what's our dwelling place? This truth, Yahweh Shai, for all generations. And we got another dwelling place, which is Israel. But this is what? This is actually what? Our dwelling place, this truth. Okay. Is our ultimate dwelling place. Okay. Is our shelter. Okay. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever that, that has formed the earth and the world, even from the everlasting, everlasting our power. So this word, even before the mountains were formed, this word was brought forth. Yahweh was brought forth. Okay. Don't turn this man to destruction. Again, that's why we don't bolt. Okay? Don't turn this man to destruction. Because what? We're in the sinful flesh. So, again, where's the room to boast? Right? There ain't no room to boast. This, the scripture says he turneth man to destruction. So there's no room to boast knowing that. Our days are as, our days are as a leaf on this earth. Right? For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday. So our time is different to the Heavenly Father's time. It says a thousand what? A thousand years in thy sight. A thousand years in thy sight is just but, but yesterday. That's but two days ago. Okay? And when it is past, as a watch in the night. So this is how Yahabashai sees time. What he sees us doing, this is just about yesterday, 2,000 years in his sight. Because our time and the Heavenly Father's time is two different things. Okay? And the time that Esau sets up is different. He puts the clocks forward, he puts it back. Like, because he's the devil, that's why. Right. That's what the devil would do. Change the time. But well, you're not supposed to change the time. Okay? Thou carriest, they carriest, thou carriest them away as with a flood, and they are, they are asleep. Okay, talking about man, woman, creation. Okay. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. Okay. So what he brings to life, he controls life and death. Okay. In the morning it flourishes and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. This is how our lives are upon the earth. Okay, this is 
this is how our lives are. Okay? Our lives are very, our lives are very short. Okay? Our lives are very, very, very short upon this earth. Okay? Very short. Okay? That's why we have we, we give thanks, we give tawada to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh every day. Okay? Every single day we give thanks to Yahweh Shai. Okay? Every single day. You know what I mean? It's a blessing, it's an honor for me to be out here and teach you. You know? What else am I gonna do? What else am I gonna do? You know? You know what I mean? Truly get grateful. And this is this is how I show gratitude. By being out here. You know? This is how I show my gratitude towards Yahweh Shai and to the other hopeful elect across the globe. Okay? By being out here, by giving my body as a living sacrifice. Scripture says, Ain't no greater love that a man can have that he lay down his life for his brethren. We're going to shut off soon. So this is love. Laying down your life for your Akia. Teach his word. That's true love. And it says there's no greater love than that. So if you can do that, that shows your love for your Habashai. If you can't do that, then it shows where your mind is. Okay? Because if you love your brother, a love is an action word, I keep on saying that. So if you love your brother, you're going to teach him this word. Okay? You're not just going to leave him stranded. You're going to teach him this word. Why? That's an act of your love towards your Hawaii Abishai. And not being selfish, which a lot of people in this world, they're very, very um, selfish, stuck up, egotistical, arrogant, and so forth. Okay? So this is how we show our love. By being out here and teaching this word. Okay? This is how we show our love. This is how we show our compassion. Okay? So yeah, I'm going to shut off here. Lord willing, this was edifying. Wish I could go on longer, but the battery's running out. And until the next time, shut a worm to the hopeful elect. Shut a worm.